Hello everybody, Umitensho here, back with a, another video. It's been a while, I know, it's been a month and all that other stuff, but, um, I have social anxiety, if you can't tell by the mask. I don't know what I have the fourth get up on today, but it's summertime in Florida and it can get hot even in, uh, at night. It was hot today, I have the air conditioner going. And it was getting muggy. I was like, I'm not going to be drawing in this mugginess. So I, it's it's much better now to cut on the fan. So, but you know, it is what it is on that. So I'm back. As you can see, that I'm just starting back the content glut again. So what did I put out? I put out the social thing. Um, I just I just got done putting up um uploading subtitles because I was playing around with different sound things and the sound on it sucks so there's gonna be subtitles if you are a follower on my patreon you get a you get access to the typed up version so join my patreon if you want to get you know if you want to be able to read what I'm saying uh, rather than trying to follow my um fantastic voice and the uh, I don't even know how the uh, subtitles or uh, even if they're even working properly because I don't like watching my videos and that I don't want to artificially inflate my views. I want to know if people actually are coming to my content. <laughs> Excuse me. Coming to my content, I had peanut butter. And actually watching it, how alone that is. So back on my usual schedule. I actually lost my drawing schedule for this um for this video. But this is why I do the Pokemon thing because it's easy to know already know what half your drawing subjects are going to be anyway. So I just had to, I had found an old list, and I just had to cut out the fifth because I'm going I'm down to four to not overwork my hands. And um, what else? It was just a matter of actually just adding one I think. Yeah, because the obviously I wanted the Spiro and the Piro. The last one I didn't change, the last drawing center didn't change, and I think I changed the second one because it was another Naruto character, and I was just like, I just did the Roshi, the um, Four Tails Jin Cherokee from the franchise last time, I was like, I don't want to do too much mainstream stuff, it was already mainstream, con I don't want to say content, but it's the drawing subjects just with the Pokemon alone, so I was like, you know what, let's do, so let's jump into another mainstream Thing. I just thought about it. I replaced one mainstream con um, character with another. But, hmm, it is what it is. But yeah, I decided to go ahead and do another form of Boo. I already got Kid Boo, if I'm correct. So I think with Majin Boo, I'm going to do that slowly over time. I'm not going to bum rush it like I did with Roni Warriors. Uh, I'm just going to go into forms uh, from Majin Buu's perspective, his chronological forms. Now, obviously, he turned into this later in this particular instance later in the, his timeline, but he typically had the form earlier, and I didn't feel like going through the anime stills for the, the original version. It's just, like, it's just the same. It's just Majin Buu with the Roy, Roy Rage style. That's what I went with, the, with the Buff Buu or... Kid Boo with South Power Shannon Exhort. So I don't know if I'm ever if I want to do a theory video of what's going on with Majin Buu's absorption video because the more you think about it, it's like among all among all the characters in Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball franchise that has the ability to assimilate or merge, forcibly merge with other people, aka absorption. He has the most interesting, um, funky characteristics. And I have some ideas of what that is. But before I do like a theory video on Majin Buu and what's going on with his absorption cam mechanics. I'm going to make sure I get the Ronin Warriors TV show review done. So very soon, I don't know if it's going to be this week or next week, I am going to watch on Twitch. I'm going to do a watch party of Ronin Warriors because last time I checked it was on Twitch. I mean it was on Amazon Prime so we'll see. So that's going to be probably the next big thing. Um, the next, um, social video that I'm going to do is going to be on cryptocurrencies, so my opinion on that. I don't know what's going to come after that, to be honest. Hmm. So, yeah. So the main reason why it took so long for me to start getting content back up 
is because I have extreme social anxiety and when I was recording it just came out and it took it didn't take that long the video was only 40 minutes overall which is not that long a recording but when you've been bullied and treated like less than a human being growing up by your cohorts it, it shatters it shatters your self-confidence and your sense of self-worth as a person so that's why i don't believe in the idea of oh bullying makes you a better person trust me i have a short views with people as my now former bank has found out so but that's a different discussion different topic for another day um so yeah i'm back on that so I'm working slowly on getting the Dragon Ball Heroes content made. I know I did a stream yesterday. Um, I think I'm going to do it by chapter. Is what I'm going to do because I think I finished chapter 4. I'm going to see how many chapters there are. But I think I'm coming close to the end because the way the story was talking is like it's finishing up soon or something like that. I don't know. I know I do know that the uh, the main villain or what would be... The main villain has like another form to go through before we start hitting the end game. I'll Google that up later as to terms of what's the uh, how many chapters are on. But I'm now I think I'm I'm now done with the uh, first four chapters. I just have to get the side content done, the um, extra uh, side stuff. I don't know if I want to put that as a separate video where I just go through me uh, trying to complete all the uh, the red missions, the not stuff that doesn't actually. Uh, have any bearing on the uh, story progression or something like that. It's like, if you want to do it, you can. So, once that's done, I think I'm going to go ahead and do Fable 1 next. I know I came out with another game schedule, but it, I'm, I think I'm going to do Fable 1 after this. After, after the Dragon Ball, Fable 1. And then I think I'm going to jump back into Life is Strange. You think I'm going to jump into Life is Strange? Or I'm going to do the Fear franchise, or Fear 1, so that's going to be fun, another horror game, so who knows, I like horror, I like horror more than I thought I did, so, but I will never play Five Nights at Freddy, I'm sorry, I'm not for that jump scare in this, even though people are like, you're playing, you're, not, you're talking about playing Fear, what are you talking about, but it is what it is, so, but yeah. This one was probably fun. I want to say fun is that it was simple. I can say simple characters in terms of design can be the most, can be challenging in their own way. Because when you're dealing with a character that's got a lot of, I want to say moving parts, but a lot of parts to draw, they give you more, that gives you more customization in terms of trying to uh, get it, get it overall together looking good. Uh, you just gotta be able. You just gotta be good when it comes to ratio, the size. You know, the having lines meet up and all this other stuff. When it comes to character drawings, that I got a lot of work and stuff on here. So, her big challenge, I want to say, is her eyes. Her eyes have like spiderweb design on it. Her irises are spiderweb design. No, that wasn't that much of a challenge. I want to say her hair. I want to say it was her clothing to her hair. She has black hair. She has a black fur coat on, and so it was a matter of having the patience of pushing through and going through all that. Yep. Just looking at it now. I like how I like how I didn't fight had to fight too much with the lips. I could have made them better and things can get better, but it is what it is. So I want to thank everybody who has come by. Again, if you want the um typed up version of the social political videos, that's on the Patreon. I only charge a dollar a month. That's all I'm ever gonna charge. Um Thank, please come by my by my Patreon, my YouTube, my Twitch. Have a good one.